All right, everyone, welcome back. Here we are at game number three between EG's Idra and Liquid's Jinro. Now, we are tied up 1-1, so this is going to be the final game in the series. We do have Idra spawning here in the upper left-hand position as our red Zerg player, and then down over here in the lower right-hand position is Jinro as the yellow Terran player. Yes, Idra versus Jinro, game number three here. This time, Shakuras Plateau. Oh, Jinro, 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 very nice uh, play last game, going out with that very strong, aggressive contain. Idra did what he could to try, you know, Idra did what he was supposed to, in the sense that he tried to starve off reinforcements, but we saw Jinro respond properly. You'll see some Terran players just continue to stream out Marines and tanks one at a time to the contain, and then just a couple of mutas in the center of the map is enough to quickly dispatch them. But what Jinro did was he kept his units piled up at his natural expansion, waited until he had a sizable force of them, and then he moved out against Idra. So that made it so that the small amount of mutas that Idra had couldn't deal with the with the a little bit of a clump of force that was pushing out for Jinro. We can see Jinro scouting out relatively early right now, uh, moving out with that SCV scout, and that's something we want to keep an eye on because a scout this early, you know, it, it gives us the impression that he may be trying some sort of early aggression or something like that. I mean, that's really the only reason. Again, we haven't seen Jinro push Scout this early at all so far in this series. So this just lets us, you know, it, it leads us to believe something. Most of the games we've been seeing Jinro Scout out basically right after that racks. So uh, back over here, Jinro actually hiding in the corner here with the SCV. And he is... Proxy Barracks here from General Two Racks early game aggression. This is a very risky move because it would just take an Overlord Scout to be able to spot this. Now, this is an excellent position for General for this reason. You might be like, well, what is he doing? What if Idra spawned here? It is not possible in Shakur's Plateau to spawn directly north or south of your opponent. So Idra cannot possibly be here, and Jinro cannot possibly be here. They are either cross-positional or to the far left or right of you. So it's either possible for Idra to be here or here, as we can see he is. So some early, early aggression coming out here from Jinro. There's that SCV, and he will be moving on out now. You can see he timed that as a normal, typical SCV scout would be, so that Idra isn't like caught off. Off guard or surprise also coming out with that full wall off orbital command is in we've got the marines pushing across the map right now uh, we've got one marine making its way on through and here we go scv scout moving up this rax now finished pumping out that first marine second scv moving on up as well so we're going to be obviously seeing some marine bunker harass with this early early two racks aggression from jinro and it will really come down to how it is able to stop those bunkers from getting up and try to prevent because if the, if he gets one or two bunkers up it's gonna be very hard for Idra to deal with this and there we go. Trying to drop two immediately. We've got those Marines coming up from the backside. Drones trying to get a surround on them as much as possible. Nice spread of Marines, though. A little bit of micro is going to be enough for Jinro to easily take care of those workers. This, of course, will force Idra to come down with a few more. we got a couple of Zerglings managing to take out that one SCV there. Marines keeping it up, and look at this full wall off here from Jinro. So he's making it so that right now Idra cannot get us around. This SCV should probably continue building that bunker right there, and beautiful. We're just going to see Jinro pop in and out of this bunker, and this is a huge problem right now for Idra. He cannot get us around, and that's the biggest problem, because without being able to get that surround, he's going to have a very difficult time at stopping this from killing off that expansion, and losing this expansion is certainly a huge problem. So let's see what Idra attempts to do. That spine crawler actually should be able to poke through that bunker and there we go forced to cancel it off and because of that creep spread right now general will not be able to get up an additional bunker he's just not able to do that so this is really Idra's chance at this point he's got another spine crawler coming through and there we go trying to get in position he's gonna wait until the time is right he obviously wants to try to save this hatchery if at all possible Queen Getting a couple shots there. Almost ended up getting dropped. The spine crawler trying to get close enough to shoot but not get hit by those Marines. And that's not going to happen. Marines coming from that other angle there. And a few more Zerglings making their way on out. Unfortunately, a couple stray Zerglings get picked off. Looks like he will be losing that spine crawler. Zerglings trying to get up, but there's so much DPS from those Marines. And Idra calling that quick GG. All right, guys. There you go. That was the third and final game here between Idra and Jinro. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this series. As always, if you like the content, please subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for more Diablo 3, StarCraft 2, and all sorts of wonderful gaming videos here on the channel. Thanks again, guys. Keep watching and keep owning.